To set up your draft, click on the Draft tab or one of the Set Up Your Draft links. First we asked how many picks will there be in this draft. We added 17 games into this system earlier, so the default is 17. You can edit this as needed. Now we need to configure the draft. At the top of the screen we have the items remaining to be done. We need to set the scheduled start time, add the draft order, and pay the draft fee. On the left side of the page we have the draft settings. On the right side are individual draft settings. Let's start by setting the scheduled start time. The draft doesn't start until the group administrator actually pushes the start draft button, but we do need to have a scheduled start time so people know when to arrive. We'll enter a time and hit the save button. We'll set the draft order next. The first section of the draft order page is the total picks and picks per partner. These are the partners in our draft. Each partner gets four picks in this draft and one partner gets five picks. If your group has unequal ownership percentages, you can give partners more or less picks in the draft. The next section is the picks per round. Since this group has equal ownership percentages, this is straightforward. Each partner gets one pick per round, and the draft is completed in four rounds, plus one extra pick. If your group has unequal ownership percentages, this can be adjusted to meet your group's needs. Last, we set the actual draft order. The section on the right has the picks per partner. We need to correct this. Click on the draft order wizard. First we have the picks per partner. Then we have the initial pick order. You can adjust this yourself or click the randomize button. Next, decide between snake draft and repeating draft and then apply the settings. The draft order is built out for you. You can make any changes if necessary Save your changes to continue. With all of our settings complete, let's take a look at the actual live draft page. The draft start date and time is listed at the top, and then notice the start draft now button. Your draft won't begin until you click that button. Below that we have the draft message board. Now if you're drafting players or days or something else, your screen will look a little bit different than this. You have the selected section, this is what's been selected in the draft already, and then below that is the available section. These are the items that have not yet been drafted. In the right column you have the draft status, the current picker, some of your own settings, auto draft and turn emails, and the draft order. This draft is ready to begin.